Hello everyone! Paper Pumpkin is here and this is my alternative so I thought I would hop on and do a quick video. I just got done doing a uh, welcome to the neighborhood card for my neighbor so that was my last post. I just did a video on that a little while ago. So uh, let me show you my card. My alternate. So I, I did the big beautiful flower on the envelope and I used it as a background stamp and I stamped both here and put some little enamel dots thinking of you and the triple bow. And then on the inside I just did the flower there. I also did a second one but we're not going to show that in the video today. And this is a full size card. So I used my own um, Whisper White and my own envelope and uh, mint green background to go on the back of that the rest was in the stamp set and then this one I used my own as well I just opened this I had a set of the gold foil envelopes and the gold cards so I thought I would just do um, one like that on there and I haven't got anything on the inside yet but I'll put the same thing I'll do the envelope and uh, the inside I like to finish them off so that is my first two alternatives, I got it in the mail this afternoon, so I've been cracking busy. <laughs> so let's get started on this, and I'll tell you what you need. I'm going to stick that up there right for the moment. I know you will need, I'm not going to use the ink spot. This is a gray granite, the ink spot that comes with the kit. So I'm going to use my full sized one. And... Uh, Reminder for next month, it's Shelly's kit, the um, co-founder of uh, Paper of, uh, Stampin' Up, not just Paper Pumpkin. And uh, she has her very own kit in next month, and it's 12 cards. They're supposed to be beautiful. Um, so flowers, vintage, you get it, and uh, layers. So sign up for next month's Paper Pumpkin if you haven't already. And this month, of course, is the distinctive. This stamp is stunning, it's gorgeous, and it's one stamp. You don't need two or three to get the layer look. It's gorgeous. I love the, their distinctive stamps. So you know each box comes with instructions, a stamp set. Um, oh, and this one even comes with a acetate box you can make to put all the cards in and give it as a gift. It's gorgeous. And the belly band to go around it and everything. So it's a very beautiful set. I don't think I need anything out of that. Don't know why I went in it. Okay. Anyway, now that I've talked for five minutes, we'll get on with the card. So I'll put my paper pumpkin away. And what you'll need is I used a full size um, card base. And this measures eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and one quarter and folded, burnished. Then you have the enamel dots from the set the white baker's twine from the set and I cut three pieces about ooh, nine inches long eight or nine right um, so we have that that and I took one of these um, smaller shorter ones to stamp the flower in the corners and um, let me see what does this measure I have a ruler so the smaller one in the this is from the kit it measures three by four and a quarter. So my mint macaron measures four and three eighths by three and an eighth. So it's just an eighth of an inch bigger to uh, put our base on there. To just, just barely match it. So just a little bit of the color standing around. So I need a little bit of scrap paper. Let me, uh, I'll use this one. This was from On Stage. So I'll just use that, that's fine. And I've already got my stamps mounted. So we are just going to, I used the flower and I used this little um, squiggly thing, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And then the leaf. And then I use Thinking of You. So I have those ready to go. Let me just start with the flower. 
So now you're not going to stand. Right. And that was Thick Whisper White that I used for the base, the card base. I'm going to use this full strength, not partial. And I'm going to put it right in this corner. Like so. And then this one I'm going to do in this corner, just slightly off, just a smaller part of the flower. So I can wash that off. Now I need the little lines. I'm going to just stick some down here and go around the corner and put some here. Same on this side. And then on this side, there we go. There's no exact science, just on the corners. Then the thinking of you, I did in the center. So I'm going to just put that about there. And the leaves, I just placed wherever I could squash them in here. So like about there. And a partial about here. There we go. And we'll just get a little bit of a leaf on here. And a little on here. There we go. So that is the stamping there done. I'll stamp down in the corner of my card with the flower. Did I do leaves? Yes, I did. I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to stamp the whole one there. And then I'm going to stamp down in the corner. I just want it a little lighter. And same with the leaves. I'm going to do the same thing. I just want it barely on here. Stamp off. So there we have just the inside done and I will do an envelope just like this one, right? Oops. Now for the front of our card, I stamped off on all of that too. So put it here, stamp off. Now you can just sort of do this and get some color on your no, didn't get that one very well. It's gonna be covered up in the center like so. See, see, see. Whoa. Lovely, lovely. It makes beautiful background stamp. Awesome. Okay, so I did put the, I glued that on, but I think I'm going to tape it, right. Let's put some adhesive on this and get rid of the, the yucky looking part right now. And get some tape in my corners and all of my Let's put this on here. There we go. Now I'm going to put this on dimensionals. Peel these off. The backings off. Yeah, it's a pretty kit. I love the flower, it's amazing. Oh, and the sayings in this set. Cannot complain, what a gorgeous set. All right, 
So layer that down on here. And we'll take some little dots. Let's place these around. Put one here and oh, about there. There we go. And I'm going to tie this with my handy dandy little bow tire my husband made me. So let's get started with my bow. Oh, this is way too much. Probably about eight inches for each, if you want a three. But if you need it for all your cards, don't use the three. I have so much extra twine that this wasn't uh, a whole big bunch for me. So let me see if I can find my snips and right here. that off right so um you can take some little glue dots and put it on my card i'm gonna take a couple make it that little bit stickier and take a third one and put it on the back of my bow Push that on here like so and there's our card so easy and simple and I think it's pretty and elegant I hope you enjoyed it and if you're not a subscriber to paper pumpkin I think this is crooked I wonder if I can take it off and move it sorry I, I, I'm anal when it comes to it being straight there we go oh much better there <laughs> If you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, subscribe by the 10th of each month and you'll get that month's kit. So for May's kit, for Shelly's kit, if you subscribe by May 10th, you will get that month's kit. And believe me, it is gorgeous. I did have a sample and now, um, let me see if it's up in my little box here. It might be. Oh, it might take too much for me to look through here. Oh, guess what? Look, here's one. Look, isn't that gorgeous? This is part of Shelly's kit. And this is one of the cards. There's three designs or four designs with three each. So there's 12 cards, but there's like three or four designs of each. And this one's a bird's nest with the writing background. That's already on there. And all you have is the little uh, twine and the flowers. And oh, it's so pretty. And this is like inside is very vanilla. The envelopes are gorgeous. I mean, a beautiful kit. If you've not subscribed, subscribe today because this is one you don't want to miss. It's stunning. And the stamp set's beautiful too. So, um, anyways, okay. On to this one. We're all done. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. And if the bell shows up, if you click the bell, it will notify you when I upload new videos. I love to uh, hear your comments and I respond. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you'd like me to make a video on a particular stamp set or subject, um, I'm all ears. Just ask and if you have any questions as well, I'll be available to ask, answer your questions. Um, let me know. If you don't have a uh, demonstrator, I would appreciate and be honored to be your demonstrator and I will help you in any way I can. Um, if you need any of the products, I will list them on my blog. There's not much here, just the, the card base and the, the mint macaron. Um, but I thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate it and you have a great evening and good night. <laughs>